Hi, this is Dr. Jeff, the Rocky Mountain Vet. One of the most, I mean, one of the most common questions I get that consistently happens is people say, look, I'm, I live here, no one will see my animal, I only have X amount of dollars, and it's gonna cost a lot more. And I don't know what the answer for that is. We know in America, 40% of people can afford current and veterinary care, 40%, which means 60% can't. There are areas in this country where well over 80% of the animals never see a, a veterinarian in their lifetime, which is amazing to me in the, in the richest country in the world. What I will say is that the top eight to 10 humane societies in this country are worth a billion dollars. There should be more low-cost clinics. The veterinary profession has fought with the humane societies for years over this. You know, you're nonprofit, you're, you're competing, it's competition for us. In the end, there has to be a synergy with this, you know? I mean, in the end, we all want the same thing. And my feeling is if animals are healthier, um, you know, and they're part of our lives, and it's what we should want as a veterinary profession, then we should be very lenient on low-cost facilities and of humane societies doing stuff. I wish more humane societies would put some skin in the game. I wish they'd reach out. And if, wherever you are, throughout the United States, call your local humane society, ask what they're doing, ask how they're helping. You know, don't be writing big checks to them if they're not doing the things that you feel are necessary for your community. That's what it boils down to. This is America. People respond to, to finances, you know. Uh, the big groups could put a lot more money into to these kind of things. I personally think, you know, the veterinary profession could put a lot more money into it. And, uh, I, you know, it just scares me when you consider we have, you know, well over 100 million dogs and cats in this country, but yet so many of them don't get proper, uh, get proper veterinary care. Um, and I have tremendous sympathy. I don't know what to do about it, you know, and it, it's heartbreaking in a lot of ways. People drive from all over the country to come to us at Plant Pit International, and we do our best to accommodate them. But at the same time, I have four veterinarians. There's four of us. I mean, you know, I'm working 80 hours a week sometimes. Uh, I can only do so much. You know, we need more people with skin in the game who really care and are making a difference. In the long run, it's the right thing to do. And no one's going to go bankrupt. No one's going to go broke. There's not, you know, veterinarians are very successful people. Humane societies are big, build, big, build big shelters all the time. They're always changing stuff. So I don't, I, you know, put the money back where it belongs with the people.